Hi guys, welcome back to another video and in this video I will be doing an unboxing. I've actually never done an unboxing before so this will be my first one. And the item that I will be unboxing will be the Prada Monolith Derbies. So this is actually a birthday gift to myself. My birthday is actually on the 17th of May. Um, I think this video will probably be releasing the day of my birthday I believe. I've had my eye on this pair of shoe for literally forever. Ever since the, um, if you've seen the boot version of them. Okay, honestly I had my eye on the boot ones before I had my eye on the derby ones but I saw the boot ones first and I was like oh no I want those and then I saw the derby ones and I'm like no 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 I want those because everyone has the boot ones and I was like oh no I don't want the boot ones because everyone has them even though they're killer but the derby ones definitely was on my radar. Currently still in quarantine and so funny. So yesterday these were supposed to have delivered to me. I bought them via Nordstrom and it said that I was supposed to deliver yesterday but apparently I wasn't home according to the delivery guy and I was like I am home. Where else could I be during these strange times? So I said that I was going to deliver the next day, aka today. I was like, okay, I'm going to keep an eye out my window for this delivery man in case he pretends and says that I'm like not at home or anything like that. I saw this man delivering packages, but there was no like mail truck outside or anything like that. So I was a bit confused. And so I swatted the guy and I went downstairs. But anyways, let's move on to the actual unboxing. The box is this really pretty blue color. I actually love this light color blue, so I'm pretty obsessed with the box. <laughs> I'm so excited about these. Oh my goodness. Okay, so here they are. Oh my god. <laughs> so the monolith derbies come in different versions. There's like the matte black leather, which I wanted at first, and then there's the red, the white, and the studded ones, but I went with the patent leather because look how beautiful this is. Oh my goodness, I'm so, <laughs> I'm so stoked. They're pretty heavy. I feel like they weigh almost as much as my Marciala sneakers. Maybe a little less heavy, but pretty heavy. So these came out autumn winter 2019 so pretty recent and even though we're going into spring summer this is not the typical summer shoe but if you know me I stick to like boot kind of shoes all year round so this is going to be a great summer shoe I'm so excited let me grab the other ones oh they're so beautiful oh my god the glossy patent leather is just so nice. So the thing with these, I rechecked Google and unfortunately these are all sold out everywhere. And when I was looking at them, I had my eye on them, like I said, for quite some time. But I didn't want to drop a pretty penny on these babies. And so my birthday coming up I was like well it's going to suck because of quarantine might as well do something that makes me happy and so I had searched the web and everywhere is pretty sold out on these shoes I didn't realize there was such I guess high in demand and there was one more left that I found that was exactly my size and I was like I guess it was meant to be mine. What I absolutely love about these is the cleated sole that it has. I love the little embossed detail on the back that says Prada and on the tongue of the shoe. Oh my goodness. I don't think you guys understand. Okay, I'm gonna try it on now. Ah! <laughs> oh my goodness. Yes! Ooh, you can already see like my height. And then my height. Oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs> oh my god, they fit so pretty. Oh my god. Is that everything? Okay. Oh my goodness. They are so cute. Look, oh my god. So right now I put them on and I put these polka dotted socks on. I don't know, I wear a size nine, nine and a half. 10 in US women's 
it usually depends. Usually in boots, I wear a 10 because I like more room in my shoe. But the last pair was a 9.5. And 9.5 is perfect for me because it's in the middle. And oh my goodness, these fit perfect. So I am 5'9", and these shoes have about, I don't know, 2 inches to them. So it makes me a bit taller. That's why I love these because they give me extra height and I like being a little bit taller than I already am. Not gonna lie, these shoes do take me back to when I was younger because when I was younger I used to wear these derby type shoes that were also black and were chunky and they were actually Skechers and I wore them all the time and you know they're kind of like dressy up shoes but I wore them casually everywhere not as dressy up shoes and people would always be like why are you wearing dress up shoes? And I'm like, because I like it. And so these kind of remind me of those Skechers that I used to wear all the time. So at the heel of the shoe, it has this tiny cushion, which I actually appreciate. I guess there won't be any room for blisters. Although I feel like the downside is that these shoes are going to crease pretty bad because of the shiny leather. But you know what? I think I'm okay with that. What really drew me to these shoes is that they give off like this 90s, grungy edge vibe. I really hate using the word grungy or edgy but I don't really know what other words to describe these because they're chunky and they're black but also like even though the chunky sneaker, chunky boot, chunky derby trend is currently going on I feel like personally I have always loved the chunky look for forever. I've always been one to get the chunkier shoe. The thicker sole have always been my favorite thing because even though I am a tall woman I love having an extra height to me so the thicker the sole the better. For a moment in time I did have my eye on the cloud bust thunder the sneaker ones. Who knows I might get those later or a boot version of the many product boots I've seen recently. I don't know. Who knows? I'm stuck at home so I don't really have anywhere to wear these stuff. But I'm super obsessed with them and I'm really happy with how they are and how the quality is. But this is my first unboxing. I hope it wasn't too bad. But if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.